here you are with Venkatesh Manjeri. Venkatesh is another student of JVIMS and another student of crack elitists who got into JVIMS. So congratulations to Venkatesh. So I will not speak a lot. Venkatesh, I'll leave the complete stage to you. First, sip to me, itna bata. Induction khatam hua hai. It has been uh, 14 days or 16 days since JB started, right? Uh, right, 14 days, yeah. 14 days, sorry. So yeah. how has the induction process been? How has the overall JB experience been for you? <laughs> Like, what was it? Like, before you got in, what was it? Yeah. Tell me that. <laughs> uh, first of all, thank you so much for the introduction, Jigar. I mean, I really appreciate it. And, you know, uh, all the efforts I've put for the past two years have culminated also with uh, three whatever. Three years. <laughs> three years, for sure. But uh, the first time I gave was in 2021, right? So, I'd count that so just for all the goals to be realistic but uh, thank you so much uh, so uh, jb has you know, you know just by going for admission in 2021 that red building you know that red building was quite an awe to be you know to have a look at and i've actually known taxi wallas to not even know the name of the college because that is how exclusive it is yes 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 yeah, yeah. So even, you know, when I actually I stay at Ghatkopar and from Ghatkopar, when I go to my college, which is uh, in church gift. So for the first time when I went there by taxi, the guy who, the guy, he's very well aware of, you know, what all colleges are in Churchgate. And when I actually told him to go into this corner uh, to get into JB, he told that this might not be a college where people study. So that is how, you know, yeah, he thinks of it as some kind of an office space hybrid, you know, come uh, place where you study. So that is the exclusivity, I'd say, for JBIMS. Uh, uh, yeah. And that is what, you know, uh, sort of awestruck me at first. And uh, also, now the index. Also, one yeah. thing, sorry for cutting off. Also, we go to college, we go to tie-wipe, 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 tie-
you huh. think of you know people coming from jalgaon and gadchiroli and these people you know coming in and talking trying to talk in english because they don't have the background of huh. it and we also you know supplement them with okay if you talk in hindi it is not we are not going to talk to you we will have to talk in english with us because for these two years you will have to grow that is it exactly we we, yeah. we force that growth on ourselves and on our peers that is Absolutely. where actually you you can't afford to not grow yahan aake apne ko growth chahiye hi that is a very clear that that college so yeah really? overall now you tell me how was your prep journey like teen saal la re right 2022 yeah, yeah. 23 three years you have yeah. how has been the journey in terms of i know the high i know the high is that you got it i know the high yeah. is that you are consistently scoring well in the mocks that is a high <laughs> tell me the lows and how did you beat them okay so i'll tell you the high one of the highs which you said was wrong which is i never scored good in mocks okay so first of all um, i took up the ims mocks okay so ims mocks is, uh, i'd say it is actually one of the best in, in the industry i have, i'm really sorry but i have never bought your mocks jigar and i'm really sorry to tell that till last but, year we were having mocks by other providers because it then we were too small to make our own mocks this is the first uh, one that has its own mocks where every mock each and every question has been made checked corrected everything by us so the yeah. entire uh, 30 mocks that we are making this year are purely by crack every test now i have made sure uh, right up <laughs> <laughs> great if if you are making mocks then since i have taken your lecture season and i'd suggest everyone to buy your mocks for sure because the amount of uh, intricacy you put into your lecture series i feel it is something which everyone needs to witness you know in their M- uh, mba or ct prep journey so we yeah, are coming to my lows uh, yeah so i have you know when i started up in 2021 studying for so at first i was i am a mechanical engineering grad okay so i i am a mechanical engineering grad i gave the gate which is a mechanical engineering mm-hmm. entrance examination for you know pursuing mtech or msc in premier institute so i flung very badly and uh, i flung very badly by i mean i flung by some 8 or 9 marks from the passing marks and to get into a very good college as in to get into the iit bombay's or iisc bangalore you will have to be in a top 2 or 3 percentiles that is how competitive it is so mechanical engineering i at first i was never you know much fond of because i knew technically i suck at these things so i started up you know just envisioning myself being since i am you know i have a grip on the language as in on the english language i thought maybe you know being a conversationalist might be something of my you know part of my repertoire so i just started off you know um, thinking okay maybe i'm career in management is something i can foresee so i started off with uh, by giving the nmat in december 2020 okay in december 2020 i started giving, and for that prep i have uh, unfortunately i i will not say that you know i studied all of it by myself i have had the immense fortune to witness people who have been in the right industries and uh, you know who have helped me who have catered to my uh, my questions and my needs so by that means i have a friend whose father is from i am bangalore and he worked for icici so he gave his cat in 1988 but he still knows you know how to study for these things because it is the portion might change but it is the constant is how you study as an i remember in one of the videos you said how you scored 95 percentile in cat for the first time you ever gave and i remember and you said it is not what you said it is how you said it which matters a lot hmm. so yeah means if you don't try think of covering the portion it is what you think you एक यू डोंट थिंक ऑफ कवरिंग यू बार बार पढ़ने का बात करते हो यू टेक वन थिंग यू स्टडी टाइम एंड अगेन जस्ट फॉर इट टू गेट इनवाइट इन यू जस्ट टू टेक आउट दैट साइकोलॉजिकल रोड ब्लॉक आउट ऑफ यू व्हेन यू हैव लुक एट अ क्वेश्चन सो दैट इज वन थिंग यू नो व्हिच आई हैव सीन थ्रू योर वीडियोस एंड यू नो आई हैव हैड द फॉर्च्यून ऑफ यू नो मीटिंग पीपल हु हैव हेल्प्ड मी क्वाइट अ लॉट सो एट दैट पॉइंट एन अंकल हु हेल्प्ड मी यू टोल्ड मी कि यू माइट यू कैन गेट इनटू एनएमआईएमएस इट इज अ कॉलेज ऑफ गुड स्टीम एंड यू नो कैन गिव द एनमार्ट इट विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू I gave so I studied for three months. I studied. I started from July 2020. I'd say mm-hmm. from July 2020, I'd go every day to his house, and I take I go for one and a half two hours, and I just take up any sum, as in any topic, maybe just a allegation or maybe mm-hmm. averages. Okay, I take it up and I make it a point to solve at least thirty questions there in his. Book. Okay, <laughs> I solve thirty questions. Even if I know I don't know, I mark the wrong answers, but thirty questions is thirty questions. Mm-hmm. It is later on up to me to review them. excuse me so that is how i started off and later on uh, it fortunately helped me out and uh, as much as i as much as mba prep concerns the verbal and quant part is something which is expected the lrdi part is something which was way out of my acumen i feel hmm. so which i then found out is a very is a major problem amongst other candidates too hmm. so to how to uh, you know tackle this so i couldn't tackle it when i gave nma and math so when i gave nma i got a score of 236 out of 360 i feel and i had actually qualified for nma by luck i don't know 
and actually i had even qualified the lr uh, cut off so i'd say i'd not say by luck because lr for there was this input output type of question which came out that year and you know that was a new question a new type of uh, a regimen which came out by nmims so that is something which actually i garnered a quite, quite a lot of marks in so i guess so i qualified for nmims the flagship program but i then had a look at the intake and it was somewhere around 650 or 600 mm. for the flagship course and i thought okay maybe if i go and compete and if for a company at least around 150 people come in or maybe at least 80 and a lot people come in i'll have to compete against 100 people for a single company or for for the internship mm. at any other company makes sense and yeah and that sort of boggled my mind off because you can't you know with my experience and my i have done one internship when i was in graduation that because i was forced to not that i was very passionate about mechanical engineering but if i take my profile and show in a, a blank piece of paper i'd be you know sent home right away i thought okay uh, maybe nmim is not my case for sure in and if next case i you know next year one once again nmim will come in and, and if i get a bit of experience and i'm not able to get into any good college and i am a success hmm. i got into uh, then 2021 uh, i thought ct will be connected in march ct will be connected in march yeah 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 it later on got delayed to august and august 26th is and it went on it from march it went to may from may it went to june from june it went to august and i thought uh, okay maybe and at Mar- in march i thought okay let me just do one thing let me just blindly give the paper when i heard that the exam has been shifted three months okay maybe i have a bit of time is what my thinking is right so okay so let me start watching some youtube videos and you know and cet has this one abstract reasoning ka part which is quite uh, yes yeah which yeah i feel that it is actually a very high scoring part but uh, it is actually highly time efficient too if you you know be a bit uh, yeah uh, that is one place yeah. where you can have a very good marks per minute bingo bingo right so that was one thing and i i uh, i was really bad at it I, i you know i don't know whether how i uh, got better at it it was some magic uh, but uh, it was not progressively that i got better it was just one day i could i was able to there were 25 questions one day i was you know just the day before i was solving some 12 questions and the next day i started solving 23 questions i got 22 of them right and uh, this was i i feel that this was a culmination of all the uh, times you know i failed at abstract reasoning huh. i failed got, uh, yeah so that was the case and in 2021 i started you know watching a bit of youtube videos and uh, rodha being one of them one of the cat videos huh. and i'd look at and he was a he is a mind blowing guy i'd not you know not to take any credit away from youtube but that guy was one of the few people who i found out at the beginning so that was something which helped me quite a bit and later on one day in 2021 i got to know the exam was shifted to august and everything was uh, done that's it one day i am seeing somewhere in april i see your video how to solve uh, how to solve abstract no not abstract i'm sorry how to solve verbal design questions in 20 seconds i guess this was one of your videos in yes. 2021 yes. yeah and i am thinking okay this might be clickbait but let's give it a try okay and i click on it and for some reason i didn't have i missed, there was no amount of preparation which i required for verbal reasoning and verbal reasoning is something i think i was good at but that was somewhere i was losing marks you know just in shades and i think okay uh, i am looking at it and i think okay this guy is actually conveying it very well and he is actually pretty better than you know a lot of other guys i have seen on youtube you know try to convey cet as a goal and jbi another as a goal so i am thinking okay so maybe let's give it a try and i one day i actually make the board step and i just buy your lecture series at first i buy a lecture series i buy a series and then on i quants is not a problem i am an engineering student huh. okay quants is a problem for a lot and i am really sorry but i am not able to relate to, relate to you because quants uh, is a major problem and i had not be able to uh, provide a solution or provide my experience of failing in it because i have never failed in quants i have always been a guy who has been in top percentile for english and math so but logical reasoning which is also one another, another major reason for people to flunk at i feel is one very big point where you stood out i feel that so when you took a question of linear arrangement or maybe a matrix people think okay uh, maybe you take out the positive data you take out the negative data you take the zero data you take all of it out and you know you write uh, all of you summarize all of it and then you make your diagrammatic representations and uh, all of it is done when you try to solve the question you are not getting it when you try to look at a solution you tell okay you did this you did this you did this and people like okay he did this next time i try to do it that is not how it works you mm-hmm. won't be able to do it you won't be able to replicate all of it the next time yes 
the one thing which stood out for me and maybe i don't know whether it is because of the way you taught or it's because of the way i was built to train thing uh-huh. is i used to think how you got into the train of thought of thinking this as in how you i, I guess that is see her her bar na exam you cannot expect i have seen and because i have worked at other places also and i have taught with other places also i've seen other yeah. a lot of that is uh, no disrespect to anybody But a lot of fact is that uh, वो टीचर ये सम सोल्व करना है कैसे बताता है बट वॉट आई बिलीव इज दैट वो सम सोल्व करना मत सिखाओ यू नीड टू टेल स्टूडेंट दिस इज हाउ यू थिंक वेन यू गेट सम लाइक दिस because Perfect. only that critical thinking of how to solve a sum is in by being a student will they be able to do it and that when it is like you were my student from cd 21 yeah but two years old student but still like you could easily relate to what i could teach and that stayed with you throughout that absolutely absolutely way of thinking that once you learn that that is never going to go away and that helps you regardless of what kind of a section you are solving ऐसा ऐसा लगेगा दैट अरे यार कल तक 12 आवर थे आज सडनली 23 हो रहा है इट इज गोइंग टू हैपन दैट वे इट इज अ चेंज ऑफ माइंड प्रोसेस इट्स अ चेंज ऑफ हाउ यू थिंक एक बार प्रोसेस तुम्हारा चेंज हो गया ना बाद में दैट इज दैट इज माय वर्क एज अ टीचर मेरा काम हो गया देन एवरीथिंग एज यू कैन टेक एंड देन आई हैव टू सपोर्ट यू व्हेरएवर यू फाइंड इट आउट पीरियड पीरियड सो टेल मी व्हाट हैपेंड दिस ईयर इस बार क्या अलग हुआ था दैट चल जस्ट टेल मी इट एन अ शॉर्ट थिंग दैट पहले तू क्या नहीं कर रहा था इस बार क्या कर रहा था व्हाट चेंज दिस ईयर फॉर यू Ah uh, okay, so I'd say that um, so CT is not an exam for CT exams cognitive load. Okay, it exams is examines cognitive load. You need to think, and for one fifty minutes you have to. It's a little easier for YouTube people to understand. <laughs> ah yeah 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 yeah. So yeah, so CT is सोचने का बारे. You आपको सोचना पड़ता ही है. You have to. It is but the problem is there is a. Unlike other exams, like in CAT or like in NMAT or maybe I don't know what SNAP. I haven't never, I haven't never done SNAP. Uh-huh. But आपको एक time constraint काफी crunch आ जाता है वो time constraint. Uh-huh. It is highly crunch. Okay. So instead of uh, so previously actually I have always gotten about ninety nine percent health the three times. Okay. Uh-huh. I am really sorry to say that I have never struggled. You know, getting sixty percent health. Sixty percent health, fifty percent health is something I have gotten mocks actually in IMS uh-huh. mocks. Yeah. But the actual exam which we gave it was. No, way more upfront and way more easy in in mm-hmm. front of uh, CET in IMS time uh, time as in test series. And later on, actually, about the time test series, which I prefer, you know, people take because it is actually not demoralizing as IMS is. Yeah, and uh, I I don't know maybe later on even CET uh, test series for sure will work on, but that is not something I've examined right. So CET ka test series be as in your test series will also be one of those uh, test series I feel which can be in equivalent to times levels. बट uh, मैंने क्या किया कि अभी जो पहले 2021 में एंड 2022 में जब मैंने दिया था राइट सो ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू राइट इट हाईली पर्सन आई लॉस माई फादर एंड इट वॉज हाईली बट आई रिमेम्बर अ वेरी द कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ नॉट बिंग एबल टू नॉट बिंग एबल टू गेट इन टू दैट नाइन पॉइंट एट नाइन टेन पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट I could never, uh, if you take means, वो बार बार पढ़ने का बात है ना, that was never a thing for me. I never take up a, you know, I'd write mixtures and allegations, or I'd write maybe uh, permutations or combinations, something like that, or number property. I take up a piece of paper and I write all of it, and I just forget wherever it is, and I just you know sit and solve sums. That was it. हाँ. So to, to actually revive all of the information, to actually get in all of the information. Hmm. Timely revision was very much required. I I had underestimated the, the amount of revision you know, which was required for all these things. And what I did this time is not before exam. Every day I you know I make a three piece uh, three paper note or you know for each topic. And every day without fail I look at it for at least fifteen minutes. You know this is something I'll I'll explain the students with an example. Okay. Like Great. what he is trying to say is that कुछ बार है ना जो तुम actively करने की try करते हो उससे इतना फायदा नहीं होता पर जो तुम passively बस आदत लगा देते हो ना उससे ज़्यादा फायदा होता है. To give you an example for the people जो मुंबई local में कभी travel करते हैं 
तुम्हें कभी तुमने कभी सोच के नहीं याद किया कि अरे घाटकोर के बाद थाने है थाने के बाद डोमिली डोमिली कसा रहा है उसके पहले चर्च गेट तुम कभी भी बैठ के लिख के याद नहीं करोगे That, इसके yeah. बाद ये स्टेशन इसके बाद ये स्टेशन है बट अगर तुम एक महीना भी ट्रैवल कर लिए ट्रेन में तुम्हारे दिमाग में बैठ जाएगा ये स्टेशन है इसके बाद ये है इसके बाद ये कोई तुम्हें पूछेगा ना अरे मुझे वो मैं नया हूँ बॉम्बे में मुझे बताओ थाने कैसे जाना है यू विल से यार घाटकोर के बाद चार स्टॉप है चार स्टॉप ये, ये है उसके बाद थाने स्टेशन है खत्म इट इज द थिंग दैट जो तुम रोज देखते हो गए द थिंग दैट यू डू एवरी डे दैट Habit is going to help you out the most. So actively, जो तुम करते हो वो इतना काम नहीं आता जो पैसिवली करते हो दैट गेट सेट बिकॉज जब तुम पैनिक सिचुएशन में हो विच इज सी टी सी टी इज अनिक सिचुएशन इतना कम टाइम है वो टाइम पे तुम्हारी आदत ही तुम्हें ज्यादा काम आएगी एंड इफ दी हैबिट्स आर गुड दे विल हेल्प यू बट इफ योर हैबिट्स आर बैड दे विल नॉट हेल्प यू दैट रोज तुम्हें रीडिंग की हैबिट होनी चाहिए बिकॉज अगर तुम रोज रीडिंग करते हो then reading an RC or a or an or an LR puzzle will be very easy because fast reading की आदत है कैलकुलेशन रोज कर रहे हो तो स्पीड कैलकुलेशन तुम्हारा क्वान्स में हो जाएगा डी आई में हो जाएगा ये तुम्हारी रोज की आदत तुम्हें हेल्प करेगी सम समझने में तो किसी को भी टाइम लगता है बट सम समझने के बाद सोल्व करना दैट इज वेर स्पीड मैच कर सकती हूँ Yeah. yeah. So you are absolutely right. Going muscle memory means that is sort of embedded in you. As in, what platform also the train train comes in. Huh. So when you actually when I studied time and again, right? What the is what the best part was whenever I used to see a sum, right? It was never this roadblock that as if as if when I look at a sum, अच्छा ये आएगा कि नहीं आएगा that was not a question. It was a certainty that okay I will get this right by hook or by crook. And that is one major roadblock which goes off when you read time and again. Huh. So I feel. that if you read if you have a look at you know there are four types of questions in mixtures and allegations there are mixtures and you know there is you can keep you can add water and there is times you know when you take out and add you take out and add a mixture these types of questions when you repeatedly read right and when you have a look at an exam in the exam you have a look at the screen and you have a look at the question and there won't be psychological roadblock okay i studied this will i will this be tested out this time will i be able to ace it that will never be a question when you read it time and again it will always be like okay i'm going to get this what is the next question that is what you'll uh, be in exactly mind. and also one yeah. recommendation for students on basis of what he said also uh, get out of the habit wo aadat chhod do ki ye sum maine solve kiya don't doubt the previous sum that you have solved ek bar wo sum solve ho gaya leave it wo sahi hai galat hai wo ab socho hi mat tum jis sum pe ho us sum pe dhyan do warna kya hoga tumhara aadha dhyan wo sum mein hai aadha dhyan ye sum mein to ye sum bhi galat ho jayega wo sum galat ho na ho ye wala sum galat ho jayega stop Absolutely. stop living in the older sum Okay, that is yes. a very important thing. Learn to move on. That is the best way. Perfect. That I would say. And that's actually thing, great advice. Yeah. One yeah. one final thing. What would you recommend for students? Like, what is a good time according to you for students to start preparing? What is a good month? Ah, uh, yeah. So I so I did my engineering. Okay, engineering is a pretty heavy has a pretty heavy curriculum. Okay. Huh. So I would suggest I what advice I'd give is for engineering. So people in you know for saying B com or BAF who have a bit of uh, time in their hands can also uh, you know have a look at uh, have a look at my regimen what I follow. So when during when I was completing my A, it was a sort of a COVID batch and you know we stayed at house and we had so only project work and all and we only had uh, lectures at that point which was through online way. Uh, But at when now when I started working, I have I worked for Infosys actually for a while for two years and hmm. while working for Infosys I have studied, which is quite a heavy task I say because I worked from twelve to nine because uh, I was working for offshore client or uh, onshore clients in the base in the US and that was a very heavy crunch of you no know, time because you get up late in the morning you sleep late in the late at night and you get up late in the morning huh. so what I would say is you would want to disperse your study patterns all across the day it is so there is a, if I don't know whether everyone Uh, is fit as a fitness enthusiast, but there is a uh, regimen of fitness which is called as G to G, which is called grease in the groove. Okay, grease in the groove means whenever people get a five minute gap, okay, what they do is they you know uh, push in a set of squats or push in a set of push ups. So what they do is they if they get a five minute gap, they do whatever is possible to you know be in that shape or you know mm-hmm. they grease the groove as you say. So grease in the groove means when you have time, when you think that you have twenty minutes spare for something. You will take out, I, and I am saying this very clearly. This might sound tedious, but you will have to keep a PDF form of your notes in handy because you have your phone all the time. Mm-hmm. I'd say whenever you are free, you are walking, you are in train, or maybe you know you are walking somewhere, or maybe uh, I'd say you are just sitting on the sofa for a waiting for a meet, which is going to happen in a few minutes. 
I'd say you take the PDF or you take that notebook and you read through all those points. Because what happens is later on when you at night when you try to study, that topic is not something you'll have to study back. Barabar. Yeah. So greasing the groove, as in studying whenever you get time. I'd not say that studying at one hour straight, you know, one hour straight intervals is something I I tell to tell you to do because that is something which I reserve for mocks. Mocks is something which you will have to sit and do. You don't have the you know. If you, you, I certainly didn't have the mental stamina at first, for sure. And sitting, sitting, I, I, I'd say it, it won't take more than five or six mocks for you to, you know, sit and. Ah, uh, adat adat lag jate. Five six mocks me proper adat lag jate stamina ki. Absolutely, wo hai stamina ki. And you know, at times jabi ek baar dekhte hai question khata shi jate hai yar. Ye kya kya question hai? Na falsi question hai. Aayi nahi raha hai dimag pe. Itna ah. you think of you know next question skip karunga to wo question pe aisa baat karne ke liye kya kya karte hai? So that is not something you'll have to do. So means, both some nikani ke liye you'll have to sit for two hours. But to study, I'd say you'll have to examine this grease in the group part. Wherein you, if you get small in terms of time, you revise at that point because this will save a lot of time at the end of the day for you to you know even to relax. That is what I'd suggest you know for people because that is what I did. And maybe I am in JBMS, but that doesn't you know certain certainly tell my success story. But yeah, it works out for people. I guarantee that for sure. Okay, great. Uh, Venkatesh, thank you so much. This was an amazing. A lot of suggestions that you have given, and uh, students, I would definitely tell you that uh, please, this ne jo bola hai, video wapas rewind karo, dekho, and uh, just take notes of what he has said. These are really important points which will help you out because it is not a uh, everybody jo kam ke saath jee bhi graph kar sakta. It is a tough thing, genuinely. He has done something good. I hope you take inspiration from it. Uh, Venkatesh, uh, if possible, uh, please, if students reach out to you because your name is visible, Venkatesh Manjari. So LinkedIn pe bas unki thodi help kar dena.